prophetic words are very powerful in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every close heaven over your life I prophesy to you right now this by the decree of the watchers let the heavens over you be open now I speak over every day beginning from today till December 31st let no day end without you testifying let no day end without you testifying in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for your walk with God this is for me a priority in the life of every believer I don't care what else works in your life if your spiritual life your prayer life your walk with God is down then your life is under a situation that calls for emergency therefore I speak over your spiritual life in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar 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 the grace for prayer and supplication receive it in the name of Jesus the grace for a constructive study of the word receive it in the name of Jesus I have seen the favor of God in ways that I cannot begin to describe I know what the favor of God is and I know what it can do by the privilege of the help of God upon my life and upon this ministry receive favor now shout a loud amen receive favor now I speak over systems and structures I compel them to walk in accordance to the will of God over your life anyone here who has been who has been forgotten between today and next Sunday in the name of Jesus let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open as responsible citizens we pray for Nigeria anyone plotting evil anyone plotting war every conspiracy of dark powers right now we command the elements of creation to fight everything that is antichrist we declare that now the Lord of peace by himself he will ensure that there is peace always and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ concerning the preparation for the election I don't belong to any party have you see me around with politicians but I have I'm a man of God there's everybody in every party in this ministry and fatherhood demands that you open your heart for everybody I don't have any prejudices no biases whatsoever but one thing I can tell you is anybody who does not mean well in the name of Jesus Christ you will not succeed <laughs> Hallelujah. Anybody across, whether from counselors down till whatever, burying animals, killing children, and draining their blood, in the name of Jesus, we invoke the blood of the eternal covenant and we nullify those demonic sacrifices. But as for you, I prophesy upon you, you will not die. You will not be victims of kidnap. You will not be victims of accidents. Every ministry here represented, return back with fresh fire. Return back with fresh grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all our international guests, I prophesy upon you, you return back with answers to your prayers. And in the name of Jesus, God will do mighty things with you. Hear me come december when men say there is a casting down when men are complaining in the name of jesus may december be your greatest month in 2022 <laughs> hallelujah i know i've stretched you but please listen hear me god helps men even financially stretch your hands towards me in the name of jesus christ by the help of god 
the God of Jeshurun, the one who is able to help men, I pray over your finances between now and the end of this year. May my God, who is also your God, may He surprise you in a way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very strange, mysterious financial doors. May they open up for you. I say it again. Very strange, mysterious financial doors. May they open up for you. Some of you will meet strangers. And the strangers will say, God has sent me to help you. I declare over your life, you will not beg. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the sicknesses that fly around this nation, whether airborne, waterborne, realm of the spirit born, I cancel it from getting to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all your loved ones who are not here, but connected to you by faith, please hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, as God is touching you here, may he touch them there. My final prayer for you, before I make an altar call, please let your heart be open. All round rest. Whatever that is to you, all round rest. All round rest. All round rest. Whether it means rest maritally, whether it means rest financially, whether it means rest in terms of fruitfulness, whether it means rest in whatever must happen in your life to be called rest, I call upon my God to give you that rest. All round rest. And anybody who has vowed to trouble you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may God arise and scatter them. I'm hearing in my spirit that there are many people who are having difficulty meeting their financial obligations in terms of house rent or maybe school fees of children or medical bills. This is what I'm hearing in the name of Jesus. This one is by prophecy. I don't care whether you do business or not. I'm praying for you one week. If I be called of God between now and the next one week, may my God surprise you. One week from now, may my God surprise you. I say it again, one week from now, may my God surprise you. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from Zion. I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, no more tears. In Jesus' matchless name we pray.